Uh, my name is Paul Oloya and I work with Oxfam. We've implemented the WASH project here in Palabek settlement since the inception of this settlement in 2017. Oxfam has two um, motorized systems um, within the settlement that serves both the refugees and the host communities. In Zone 3, one of the zones where Oxfam is operational, we are having one completed system and uh, we are serving about 2,110 persons of concern. We also have another system in Zone 4, which is still ongoing. Uh, it is designed to serve about 5,600 persons of concern. With these motorized schemes, um, the users of the water now have access to up to 36 liters per person per day. My name is Achayo Jacqueline. I am from South Sudan. Before the step stand was put in place, we could spend very long hours at the borehole. And sometimes I could sleep at the borehole waiting for water. But now that the tap stand is here, I get safe drinking water. I get clean water all the time, which I use to cook food and wash my clothes. I also use the water to water my garden. Water that we now supply means that the diseases associated with scarcity of water have been eradicated to a great extent. When we began the school, we had one borehole uh, for the community. And with the population of the refugee and the host community, water was a challenge. Uh, we have the tap water and the tongue harvesting water installed at school here. Our plan is now to maintain by fencing around the water point. It is a singular duty of the government to ensure the good life of the citizens of Uganda and the visitors. So this assistance complements the work of government. I would like to thank you on behalf of the government of Uganda. My appeal on behalf of the Oxfam and other non-governmental organizations, you need to give more to them so that we see more water points in Lukung, in Madiope, in Padibe, and the other parts of Parliament that are not yet receiving safe water for drinking like this. To our people, we need, we need to take good care of these water points so that even if this ref refugee oppression ends, these facilities is able to continue to help our people.